When I was born, it wasn't clear if I was a girl or a boy. Growing up as an intersex person in Uganda made my childhood very complicated. In our culture, being intersex can be considered a curse and something to get rid of. Some families isolate the child in a house. Herbalists did everything they could to cure me. I was brought up as Julia, but I never felt like I belonged. However, I was lucky that my family accepted me. My mother protected me by hiding my identity, so I had to change schools a lot. When I was 11, I had to study hard to get a place in an Anglican girls' boarding school. My mother thought it would be the safest place for me, but it was a real nightmare. I was surrounded by only girls, and everything they were, I wasn't. I had to hide my true identity, and to make things worse, I started to like some of the other girls. I began to realize how different I was. By the time I was 16, it was obvious I was becoming a man. My voice and my hair were changing. I had to leave school. I found myself at a crossroads. I started to get some answers from a doctor about what was happening to me. But with all the physical changes, I could not go back to being a girl. I left to study abroad. When I came back, I was no longer Julia. At first I pretended to be my brother. But people recognized me as the person who used to be called Julia. Since then, I've lived as Julius. One day, my story was leaked to a newspaper in Uganda. Everybody wanted a piece of me. They wanted to dissect me. I was so afraid. I escaped to South Africa. Years later, I heard about an intersex boy in the Uganda news. And I decided to go back home to help him. I was concerned. You are taught growing up as an intersex person in Uganda that your body is no longer your property. It is to be abused, examined, and tested against your will. For him and others like him, I faced my fears in front of a live audience on national TV, and I told my story. When I was done, the whole room stood up and cheered. Now I work to educate and counsel people about intersex issues across 50 districts of Uganda. We work with community midwives to fight the stigma around intersex babies. I still face harassment and many terrifying moments. But we need to continue our work so no more children are killed, mutilated or ostracized. I want them to know that intersex people don't have to be fixed. And like me, they can go on to live full and happy lives.